Hi and welcome back to the Time Then channel. Bruce Lee, also known by his Chinese name Lee Jun Fan, was a 1940-born American and Hong Kong martial artist, educator, actor, director, screenwriter, producer, and philosopher. He was the creator of Jeet Kune Do, a mixed martial arts concept that combined elements of various combat styles and is frequently regarded with opening the door for contemporary mixed martial arts. By bridging the divide between East and West, Lee is regarded by critics, the media, and other martial artists as the most influential martial artist of all time and a 20th century pop culture icon. He is credited with helping to change how Asians were portrayed in American movies and promoting Hong Kong action filmmaking. Bruce Lee was raised in Hong Kong despite being born in San Francisco. His father was an opera singer and sometimes actor, thus he was exposed to the entertainment business at a young age. When the younger Lee first started acting in movies, he was typically cast as a street kid or a juvenile offender. He joined a neighborhood gang as a teen and started learning kung fu as a means of self-defense. He also began taking dance classes at that time, which helped him improve his balance and footwork. In 1958, Lee won the Hong Kong Cha-Cha Championship. Soon after Lee turned 18, his parents transferred him to live in the U.S. as a result of their growing concern over his street fights and run-ins with the law. In Seattle, where he completed high school and attended the University of Washington to study philosophy and acting, he resided with family friends. He established his first martial arts school in Seattle, then in 1964 he moved to Oakland, California, where he established a second school. Around that time, he created his own method, Jeet Kune Do, which combines traditional martial arts with fencing, boxing, and philosophy. He started teaching it in place of conventional martial arts. After performing a kung fu demonstration at a karate competition in the Los Angeles area, he caught the eye of a television producer and was subsequently chosen to play Kato, the psychic in the Green Hornet 1966-67. His Hong Kong and Hollywood-produced movies brought Hong Kong martial arts movies to a whole new level of fame and acclaim in the 1970s, igniting a wave of Western interest in Chinese martial arts. His film's plotlines and tones have a significant impact on martial arts and martial arts movies all over the world. He is remembered for his parts in five full-length Hong Kong martial arts movies from the early 1970s. Lo Wei is the Big Boss 1971 and Fist of Fury 1972. Lee's Way of the Dragon 1972 for Golden Harvest, which he also directed and wrote, and Robert Klaus's Enter the Dragon 1973 in the Game of Death 1978 for Golden Harvest and Warner Brothers. Due to his depiction of Chinese nationalism in his films and for breaking stereotypes of the emasculated Asian male, Lee rose to fame around the globe and is particularly well known among Chinese people. Among Asian Americans, he also achieved fame for his defiance of stereotypes. On July 20, 1973, Bruce Lee passed away at the age of 32. Fans and historians speculated about the puzzling circumstances surrounding his passing, but the official cause of death was stated as swelling of the brain brought on by an allergic reaction to a headache medicine. At the time, Lee was working on a movie called Game of Death, which was released in 1978 and was put together using stand-ins and cardboard cutouts of Lee's face. Lee's movies developed a large cult following following his passing. One of the 20th century's most well-known pop culture figures was Lee himself. Please kindly subscribe, like, and comment. for watching. If you liked the video, please kindly subscribe and see you on the next one.